What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to your Daily Dose of Brood War. We're going to be taking a look at a bit of a rematch here. We've got T.Y. in the top right-hand corner. His opponent, Shine, down in the bottom right. Now, if you missed that match from Dark Origin, that match on Dark Origin, excuse me, that we posted a few days ago, you should definitely go back and take a look at that one. T.Y. showed quite a bit of innovative play in that uh, best of one. Had a little pocket build that caught Shine off guard and you know that's not something to take lightly. It's very difficult to catch this man. This guy is like the king of cheese. He's the king of the builds, right? Mr. Bag of builds here. And one thing I like to say about Shine is that not only is he great at pulling out some really ridiculous builds, he's very good at reacting to any cheese play that comes his way. He's very, very good at issuing the correct response, at taking out any sort of weirdness and at knowing the exact right counter to it. Like whenever we see a player go one, one, one against him or do something funky against him, he always seems to have that like hydralisk bus timing or you know, that lurker all in or whatever it is that just catches the Terran off guard right at the sweet spot and takes them out. But in that last game, he wasn't able to do that. He wasn't able to find out what TY was up to and he wasn't able to respond correctly. So we'll see if this one's any different. We got TY with a kind of a funky wall here at the front. I haven't really seen this one before. Feels like we're missing something here. I guess we could put another depot like that. That is quite a strange wall. This is something interesting because you can put two, you know, supply depot, supply depot. We usually see supply depot, supply depot with the barracks underneath. But in this case, it's gonna be, I think, supply depot right there. I don't even know if that's close enough to wall with this. I guess there's gonna be one tiny gap here. Yeah, look at that. Hmm, very interesting. And a 12 hatch coming here from Shine. He's actually holding off on building a gas here and does get a 13 third base. So I was messing around with this a little bit and I found that the really important part about doing this build specifically is that you have to have a good location to place your sunken, which I don't think that there is a good spot here to actually do that, which makes me a little bit worried. I would think it would be better to put your hat, your hatchery here, and then you can put sunken here. You know, three sunken or something like that there. But you'll have to put three sunken here for sure. Three sunken and three sunken. If that's the type of build that Shine is actually going for, I'm not sure if he's gonna like mass ling or something. But you can't. If he goes, if your opponent goes two racks, let's just say your opponent d d is going two racks, like he is right here. Two Ty definitely going for that two racks. You're not going to be able to get Mutas out in time to save this base. Or to save your natural. You need Sunkins to keep that alive. So, we'll see what Shine brings out here. Sunkins or Massling. Again, I, I did say that earlier, but... We might end up seeing that. We might end up seeing him just pump out a lot of Ling. Although, we don't have... Ling speed just yet. Are we going to get it right now? We have that 100 Minerals Hunter guess. There it is. Ling speed on the way here. No pushing out from TY. He's being nice and careful. I like it from him. He knows that this is going to be a powerful attack. He's spotted up this third base over here. He knows that that is on the map. So he knows that this is going to be a powerful attack. Just a standard two base, two racks attack will be very, very strong against this. So he's not trying to like finesse out you know some kills here with three early marines walking across the map and trying to like sneak in there he knows that if i just hit this build properly we're gonna do some damage here we're gonna force something out of shine and shine's just gonna back away with these links what will be the response here we've got one you can see spire is just barely started here just barely started and we've already got marines heading across the map we got one sunken oh boy is Shine just going to die here? we got four groups of Lings and a Sunken, and that is it. Oh, boy. He is in a lot of trouble right now. TY pulled the trigger, running all the way across the map here. He does lose two Marines pretty quickly. 
Wow, okay. Actually going to hold off pretty easily here with just those four uh, extra sets of lings popping out. He will be able to hold on. He has his second gas up. And funnily enough, you know, TY, he went for the kind of kill move there, going for the throat, heading into the natural. I mean, he can't really pressure the third base anymore, right? We didn't have to build any sunkens over here, which is a little bit, uh, a little bit rough for Shine. Now we've got two fire bats here. What I'd really like to see is TY not push into this natural again. Actually head over towards that third because there's nothing aside from Lings which can defend that right now. And that looks like exactly what he's going to do here. But he's got to be careful. Do not lose your Marines like that. What was that stim? What happened there? TY just running forward with the stim. He's going to get caught here running back as well. Shine just superior with the movement, it seems. His Lings catching Marines and Firebats continuously. Another group of Marine is out here on the map, but now we've got a lot of Mutas coming. This is even better than most of my games in terms of what you can get away with here. He's only had to build a few sets of Lings. And he's got no sunken over here. Gonna add that third drone onto the gas geyser at the third base. And his amount, like his mutilus production is gonna be off the chain here. Immediate queen's nest out of shine. Let me get the uh, graphic here so you guys can see how many mutas are remaining and how much health they have left. I get that complaint a lot. I am sorry guys, I'm working on it. There we go, we lose another Muta here. Some of them are quite low. Firebat may be heading down towards the bottom left, but Shine is on top of that. He managed to kill one of the medics as well. Things are really looking good here for Shine now, I gotta say. From the opener, you wouldn't expect it, but I think that TY's kind of played himself a little bit here by going in and trying to break the natural. If he had just gone with fire bats down to the bottom left-hand corner and not stimmed and run way ahead of his army, I mean, he would have been in a great spot right now, I think. Just react. Stim in reaction to when the lings come in. And you will be 100% fine. No rush. No need to run down to the bottom left. Or down or, or over to the natural. But just walk slowly over there and kill a ton of drones because there's there was nothing over here. We do have one sunken now, and the Mutalist group is kind of sharking around, but immediately we're going into Carapace upgrades and Hive. Shine is going to get into a very quick three base play here. With that third base, he's going to have a couple of hatches being laid down here, and I assume we're going to go into Lurker, but then up into a large Hydralisk Defiler play here on three base. That's typically how this plays out. When you get onto a quick third base like this, it's generally the case that you're gonna wanna go for a Lurker Defiler play. We'll see if he starts to buy those Lurker upgrades, or those uh, Hydralis upgrades here once the Lurker aspect is done. There's the Defiler's Mound. More Sunken Colonies on the way here. We've got three in the natural, three over at the third base, although they're not in a great position to defend here. Once these lurkers are done, like this should keep the, the hatchery alive at least. And then once the lurkers are done, that should be a safe base. PY here, getting into his upgrades. He's got one engineering bay pumping right now. So not the best upgrades in the world. You would like to have two. He might want to go into a mech play once he's spotted out exactly what's happening here. Mech can be very good against this. You want to be able to put out mines to prevent Defilers to, from walking across the map. And Hydralis Defiler does not do very good against tank. Just straight up mass tank can rip that to shreds. So we might see this factory get landed here and a couple more factories thrown down. But in the meantime, just putting on a little bit of pressure here. Seeing what he can see. Seeing what he can do right now. I like the uh, Overlord spread from Shine. He's got lots of vision here on the right hand side. Which is generally where the... Uh, dropships would be com coming if they were indeed on the way still sharking around still checking out this bioforce just seeing where it is on the map so you can react appropriately interesting location for the nidus network i guess you can't like 
siege mode here and hit that, right? I don't think you can. That would be ridiculous. Look at how far that is. Can you... Maybe from there? I don't know if you can get a tank onto there. That would be crazy if you put a siege tank there this game and, and knock that out. Second engineering bay is on the way, so he will be getting to those double upgrades right as that first armor finishes. Moving out on the map now. The mutas are not going to be worth much anymore, but they might give him the opportunity to dive in here on some of these science vessels. Diving the science vessel. Oh my god, what a split. Wow. That was beautiful by Shine. Absolutely fantastic. Utilizing that small number of mutas that he had left over to kill both of the science vessel. I mean, my... Oh, God. My uh, Scourge are like special needs Scourge, man. They never do what they're supposed to. And Shines are splitting off like figure skaters, man. Or like synchronized swimmers just flying through the air rather than the water. Landing directly on their targets perfectly every time. It's crazy to me to see that happen right there. But that's why he's the pro gamer, man. It is just amazing what they can do. Mortifylus popping out here. We will have Consume. We have it. The Dark Swarm. We don't have Plague just yet, but I can imagine that's coming here soon. With that Plague upgrade, more hatches are being added on here at the third base. A little bit precarious, these hatches here. I mean, they will cut off some of the surface area for the Marines to get in, but I don't think that um, anything here can hit that if the Marines are going to stand here and shoot. To shoot this hatchery, it's a little bit rough for Shine to deal with. He's going to bring a Lurker down, but oh boy, making a bit of a mistake there. Defiler not making uh, the moves quite like those Scourge. Defiler can be a very difficult unit to use. And TY going to be very careful with his vessels from now on, realizing that they are indeed in danger just gonna pull them away keep them over top of the marines at all times make sure that they don't end up getting picked off double upgrades here ultraless cavern on the way i wasn't expecting this but maybe i should have this is typically the way that shine likes to play he doesn't like to go for full-on hydralist defiler it's it's a very difficult composition to use honestly very very tough Flying over with a ton of mutas. Looks like they're going to be kind of sacrificial here. Does manage to pick off one SCV, but man, these are dying for free right now. Oof, that is rough, but he's dealing with some attack over here. Trying to get the Defiler into the right position to defend. Always a challenge in these situations. Bleeding off some of his gas, but look at how much gas has been banked right now. Shine with huge gas bank here, ready to produce a ton of Ultralis. He's going to quickly run up here and take this high ground while taking the fourth base. Really, it's on TY right now to find some way to stop this from happening. But it doesn't seem like he's ready to do that. Doesn't even seem like he wants to start tank production either. He's more just focusing on huge marine medic. This is like the old style of playing uh, against this this type of uh, late game Zerg. Is you take a bunch of bases, you get your third gas online, and then you get a, set, a third uh, starport, mass upgrades, and mass marine, and just try to overwhelm with SK Terran. Zergs have gotten very good at getting plagues off, which can kind of shut that down but so far he's doing a great job and he's even getting in here underneath the dark swarm with the fire bats able to take out these lurkers and he may be able to shut down the fourth base here which is really really great for ty shutting down that fourth gas for any amount of time here is super super painful for shine and shine gonna mount a big counter attack right now heading over towards that fourth base of ty and we have some Dark Swarm here to work with. Another Dark Swarm going to come down. He's trying to consume, it looks like, in order to get another uh, uh, another spell off. Maybe a Plague, but 
Looks like he won't be able to do that. And all of the lings are going to get cleaned up as well by these fire bats as they come forward. He's trying to make his way up onto the high ground to take the fourth base. But once again, denied here. Seems like all of the gas has been utilized now. Six ultras on the way here. Six is a little bit less than I expected. I thought he was going to have like 10 right now. But he's going to have six coming up here. I don't know if we got supply blocked or what. We're only building six and we've got 700 gas sitting in the bank. Go ahead and throw down a plague here. Should be able to get under this dark swarm. Nicely done. Pushing up with the lings now. Opening up a path for maybe a later counter attack across these bridges. Gonna consume and go for it. Yeah, if you can get dark swarm on top of this, this makes a real big problem for TY. And he will make that problem now. Battle Cruiser are starting to head across the map. This is the part of the game that gets really hectic for Zerg. Now that there's a third gas online and the third starport is here, three Battle Cruisers being built at a time becomes really, really hard to deal with. Coming around once again, we're going to head over towards this bottom left-hand corner. See if we can pick off anything at that location. The Dark Storm is right on top of the third, though. And with this, what, six Ultras making their way up here? He's going to start to rip apart these Marines. Marine reinforcements are being shredded right now, but he's jumping on top of this third base. Annihilates the drone count here with those eraser tricks. Very nicely done, but there's a lot of damage going on his side of the map now. He's going to go right for the throat here into the natural, just completely ignoring this base over here. Kind of surprising, but he will start to break through. Third base is going down right now for Shine, though. Oh man, Shine is trading out with the Terran player. Losing his third base and all of these hatches is not really worth it, I don't think. Unless you can kill all the, you know, barracks right now of TY. I don't think it's going to be worth it here, guys. Oh man, a lot of damage on both sides. Quite the base trade situation here. Almost plagues his own ultra, but it seems like he avoided that. Still coming forward here. Really need to target down the Defiler in these situations. Getting rid of that is super important because more Dark Swarm's going to come down here. They're going to start to pick off these barracks right now. More Lings coming up as well. Going to be able to help out right now. Army actually moving through the middle here. Going to maybe cut off those reinforcements. A lot of Scourge coming up to maybe pick off these Battle Cruisers. Maybe pick off that Science Vessel as well. Got quite a few science vessels here. He's going to drop some more Dark Swarm here in the main base. Try to kill off some of these barracks. As I was saying earlier, coming forward here, just going to pick off that one science vessel. Nicely done. We still have some mining over here at this base, whereas Shine is not mining off of any third gas right now. He's going to start to dry up here really soon. He's got a lot of mineral bank, but the gas is completely spent here. Going after the engineering base is kind of an interesting option right now. And it looks like he might even get the kill. It's so close. Looks like he turns around and stops attacking that. Unfortunately, will not be able to finish off that second engineering bay. But it is the engineering bay that was researching armor. He already got the one that was researching attack, which is really the most important upgrade. So here we are with the Marines at 2-2. About to be 2-3. And we've already got three armor upgrades. So... Being ahead in the armor might help out here. Look at this. Double double command center floating out to these two bases right now. That is kind of wild. I wonder how long TY is going to get away with mining from those two bases. It might be a while, guys. We might be able to get away with that for quite some time here. Coming in, throwing down a Dark Storm and a Great Plague as well. Lings are doing quite a bit of damage here. He has the uh, Overlord spotting all of this out, but not really much that Shine can do about it right now. He needs a gas, man. We've almost got the gas over here done. Still pumping, pumping out Ultra. He's going to go for this base now. Dark Swarm there. Plague there as well. Getting rid of a lot of those forces. Picking off these bunkers as well. He's bringing forward all the defenses here. The Lurker is even brought up right now to try and finish off this base and he will force the base to run away but look at all the mining that's going to go on here Battlecruiser is just defending on this side and attacking actually here into this fresh third or fourth base I guess you could say a lot of scourge coming up but this is like all the gas that Shine has right now and he only killed one battlecruiser with that oh man that's so painful 
He really needs to send his drones down here, not to here. We've got 11 drones here. All of them are gonna die, I think. This is really bad for Shine. He needs to pull those down to the bottom left, get the gas mining down there so that he can get enough Scourge to deal with those BCs. Ultra's running into the natural here, cleaning up a lot of these Marines. Seven and eight kills apiece. Lurkers here at the front. This Battlecruiser killed so many drones. Nine and 11. Holy crap, so many kills on those BCs, man. Looks like this BC is just gonna be able to kill these lurkers as well. No, he finally does run away. This hatchery is gonna fall. This hatchery is gonna fall, but this might be able to stay up. Maybe he can get some gas mining over there. This is a crazy game right now, guys. Crazy game. With Shine just barely mining here now on three gases. But it's not gonna last for long. You can see this is depleted already. So we're gonna be running out of gas very, very quickly here. He's running into the natural one more time. But there is a defensive position here on that high ground and he doesn't worry. He's not worried about mining down here at all. There's nothing to mine. It's all about these bases on the islands right here. Dropship heading down to the bottom left. Oh, can he catch it? Oh, he gets it. Beautiful catch there on that dropship. That drop could have shut down Shine completely here, but he will stay alive for now. Still having four Scourge out here on the map. Can he pick off this battle? Because he's got no attack upgrades. Does he have harm or no? It will still one-shot those Scourge, so that's a bit of a problem here for Shine right now. The base lands. He takes his expansion again. TY in a brilliant position to win this game now. Nice pickoff on the battle cruiser. We're switching fully into Hydra mode. Hydra mode engaged here, guys. We have to get some defenses going. I don't know if uh, TY knows about this base in the center left. If he doesn't... Oh, there it is. The scan just now came down. He's going to stim up everything and run over here. Immediately reacting to this. Oh, he's just going to hop through. What? Okay. Plague. Dark Swarm? Dark Swarm! Where is it? Oh, the fire bats. Okay, Dark Swarm. There's all the Lings popping through. Lings pop through and take out everything. Hydra's here. Gonna start to work on these vessels. Although the vessels are irradiated. They're doing their racer trick things here. Gonna burrow the Hydra here. Waiting for a Dark Swarm to get over to this base. So maybe he can save that. BC though with 12 kills now. Going to work on the drones at the bottom left. Things are looking dire right now for Shine who's losing rapidly his income here and is barely hanging on to this location over here. Hydra's dying in the middle of the map and the minerals are starting to dry up now. Shine, he will transfer back here, but there's barely anything left, man. He's very, very low. Very, very low on those minerals. And look at this. We're going to have these science vessels come through, maybe pick off this last defiler. And if they get the defiler, I think that TY will take this game. Here we go. Oh, he's going to go for an eraser trick here. Burrow, the drones. Shine, what are you doing? The drones. We're busy right now killing this base, but does this base really matter? The drones, Shine. All the drones have fallen. This base is dead. I think we're about to see a tap out here from Shine. Shine have put up an amazing fight here this game. But these two bases, man, oh man, did they ever make a difference. We would have seen TY on no mineral income here had these two bases not come up. The Battlecruisers, absolute aces this game. Absolutely insane how much damage they've managed to do. It's like Ultras will be able to push through here, but it does not matter. Marine's gonna break the center left and Despite losing this base for like what seems like the third or fourth time He still can produce in the main because of these two islands Nothing ever happened to those and look at that 19 and 13 kills the Commodore Battle Cruiser Picking off a huge huge amount of drones this game one Hydra Might actually defeat both of them. Let's just see this doesn't really matter over here. Can he actually get this? This is all that matters right now on the map. Can he kill the battle cruiser with the one Hydra? Oh my God, here comes the Yamato. He gets it. Yamato cannon picks off that battle cruiser or picks off that defiler. The battle cruiser survives. 
GG is called. Look at that, guys. Battlecruisers survive here. 20 kills and 14 kills, respectively. Big ups to TY for taking down this game, man. Shine. He really seems to have Shine's number, man. This is some great play by him. Really old school play, honestly. With the, like, mass barracks. He lost, I think, two or three barracks here in the middle, but he had a huge number of barracks. He was pumping off of three starports, just mass BC to overwhelm the Zerg. Dry up all his gas by forcing him to build tons of Scourge, and then this move here to, t to snag these two bases? I mean, genius. Absolutely genius. Just getting these online and protecting with battle cruisers. There's nothing that Shine can do about it in this game state. And man, Shine, I, I think he went to ham. Trying to attack into TY when this base was going down. We needed to save this. We need to get over here and save this base and keep growing here because these bases made it all of Shine's efforts in taking out, you know, TY's bases on the map absolutely meaningless because he had these extra bases man meaningless that's right this game is over guys ty 2-0 over shine now i'm gonna be on the watch for some more games between these two was well, an absolute blast guys thank you for watching and i'll see you tomorrow